so in this video I am going to show you how to plan your uh, replenishment uh, you can simply use this sheet uh, and you just have to fill out these yellow cells uh, the first word is uh, manufacturing time second word is shipping time so it depends uh, on your shipping port so in my case let's say it is 70 days and the third one is total inventory so basically it is your fulfillment center inventory your 3PL inventory and if you have inventory in transit so you will put uh, all those uh, numbers here so uh, in my case the total is 11,224 because I have 2,000 units in uh, fulfillment center 4,000 in, uh, in C and 5,000 is also in C so the total is 11,224 and my average daily sales is 80 so basically it is my current average daily sales as well as my projected uh, daily sales in the upcoming month so that is 80 and uh, it, this is basically the scale of 1 to 100 so you can uh, you, you you now you have to decide which one uh, do you uh, care about the cash flow or staying in stock so if you uh, care much about cash flow you have to uh, put a smaller number here but if you care much about staying in stock you have to put larger number here so let's just say i put 25 percent basically this is uh, this is a buffer so uh, in my case if it is 25 percent it means that i i want to have uh, 25 percent extra inventory uh, available all the time uh, so this means that uh, if something bad happens I always have 25% uh, inventory uh, in fulfillment center so uh, I can I can keep it like 50% 100% or even uh, I, if I if I don't if I care too much about cash flow I can even put it 0% so it, if it is 0% it means that I am on optimum cash flow I don't have any extra inventory but this is very risky in Amazon FBA uh, you, your daily sales can increase or, or anything can happen so you have to have something extra uh, in your fulfillment center so that is 25 percent so um, now uh, as per these numbers I have to I have to place my second order after 35 days and the quantity will be 1500 and in terms of date I have to place my second order on 26 February because today is 22 and the quantity will be uh, not exactly 8500 it will be 8568 units extra uh, and that is because i have 126 pieces in a carton so i want to uh, place uh, the order of full carton instead of half carton because i have 26 pieces in a carton so i have to uh, order 68 units extra so let's say if i have like uh, 70 units in a carton I have to order 40 units extra and if I have like 150 units in a carton I have to order 50 units extra and 57 cartons exactly on 26 February 2022 uh, so uh, your your uh, order your order quantity will basically depend on your lead time in which which means your manufacturing time and shipping time and uh, your daily sales and your buffer so uh, this will de uh, this will determine how much quantity you should order and the inventory you have available at the moment basically uh, determine uh, when you should order so if i change the quantity from 11000 to let's say 4000 uh, i uh, i am basically in uh, minus i should have ordered my inventory like uh, on 26 november 2021 20, so uh, for now I have like 11,000 so yes I, I, I will have to order my inventory after 32 days so thank you very much uh, I will I will put the link in the description for the sheet thank you